Have you ever eaten American fried rice? Never. Yeah, in my life. Never one time. Never. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And who can blame her? Certain places that sell American fried rice, like say in some certain supermarkets, it looks really, really nasty. You know, one of the hardest things about raising a kid in Thailand is that you have to find something that they can eat uh, because most Thai food is very spicy, right? Well, here's a dish that is made specifically for kids, and it is called American fried rice, which in Thai is cow putt American. However, it was invented in Thailand. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, you know simple ingredients involved, but I couldn't fit in my camera hot dogs. Actually, I could. Maybe I just tuck it right next to the chicken wings. So in this dish, it is a fried rice. Uh, there's gonna be fried chicken, uh, hot dogs, of course, some carrots, peas, garlic, shallots, raisins, topped off with a fried egg. And so one of the things that makes this dish uh, sort of American and uniquely American is ketchup that's right ketchup and what represents America more than ketchup hot dogs and uh, soon to be fried chicken in Thailand whenever you order pizza they give you ketchup so I'm not complaining because they give me enough ketchup to open up at McDonald's okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do is to prepare the chicken because they need to marinate it and this is just five pieces of drumsticks which I'm gonna add a tablespoon of fish sauce and then just two teaspoons of light soy sauce. That's one, and that's two. Give it a good old massage. Now, I have never ever eaten American fried rice before ever uh, in my 10 plus years in Thailand. But I do make this for my daughter, and uh, as I mentioned before, yeah, this is mostly meant for, uh, for kids. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of corn flour or cornstarch for the folks in uh, North America. Now, I am going to fry this in a combination of corn flour and AP flour, but I just always like to give sort of a pre-coating of corn flour. It's just going to make the uh, chicken much more crispier and, and stick better to the second coating of flours. It's just something that a lot of uh, old school Chinese uh, chefs do, so I'm doing it too. Okay, and that's it. We'll just let this marinate for 10 minutes. So while that's going, let me explain the other ingredients. This is 400 grams of cooked rice that was left overnight. Uh, I left it in the refrigerator to let it dry out. Uh, when you're making fried rice, very important, your rice has to be slightly dry so that all the flavors can absorb into the rice uh, way better. Half a cup of diced carrots, half a cup of peas. And then I need about a tablespoon of shallot and just give the shallots a fine mince. Okay, that will do. Some garlic. And just give it a fine mince as well. Okay, and that's done. Just put it in the same bowl because they both go in at the same time. Okay, and now we need to make the sauce. I'm gonna start off with, whoops, four tablespoons of ketchup. If I can actually open the damn package. Okay, there it goes. It's really nice that the pizza companies in Thailand like to hand out free packets of ketchup. And this is actually good quality ketchup too. Okay, is that four tablespoons? I don't think so. I'm gonna add just two more packets. And then I'm gonna drop in a tablespoon of soy sauce and just half a tablespoon of fish sauce. And that's it for the sauce. Just stir it up and we're finished. And then next thing to do is to decorate the wieners, the hot dogs. 
Yeah, there is a certain way that they make these hot dogs. Uh, it just looks kind of, you know, unique. What they do here in Thailand is to cross cut it. And you're gonna see later when I fry it, it's gonna open up. I mean, it looks kind of weird at first, but don't worry about it. It's for the kids, you know, you wanna make stuff a little bit interesting uh, for your eyes, you know, so cut down one side and then cut down on top of it so that it opens up like that. All right, so that's done. It is time to coat the chicken. So I'm just gonna put my flour directly into that bowl. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in a quarter cup of corn flour followed with a quarter cup of AP flour. And as always, uh, you wanna make sure you cover all of your chicken until they sort of look like powdered donuts. Just like that. Okay, these are ready. Okay, so I'm gonna need to fry my chicken at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or about 177 degrees Celsius. Now, how do you know that your oil is hot enough for frying if you do not have a kitchen thermometer? Well, you take a wooden chopstick like this or maybe a wooden spatula, stick it down the center, and if it does not immediately fizz up, like you open up a can of soda, it is not ready. All right, I'm gonna try again. And there you go, see? It immediately fizzes, so this is ready. So I'll drop in my chicken carefully. This is not a lot of chicken. However, cooking drumsticks, because these are thicker, uh, you have to cook it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna cook this uh, five pieces of chicken for about, about five minutes. Mm, look at this, nice and golden brown. By the way, if you want a more, sort of a more adult uh, and really delicious uh, fried chicken, uh, Thai style fried chicken recipe, I'll put a link in the description box below. So next thing I have to do is to just cook up my hot dogs. Now my fire is off because this oil is plenty hot already and the hot dogs are cooked already, right? So we just need to heat it up through and through. And as you can see, the hot dogs are curling up. So I'm just looking to brown these hot dogs slightly. All right, that's it. Remove the dogs. And I quickly cleaned out my wok. I'm gonna add just a tablespoon of fresh oil. Now on my other fried rice videos, you see me add a lot of oil, like four to five tablespoons of oil. Uh, but for this dish, uh, because there is a sauce, you don't need too much oil because this is gonna help coat the nice, nice. This is gonna help you coat the rice and just make it taste uh, really good. We're gonna first toss in the garlic and shallot. Just cook it up until it's nice and fragrant. Drop in, drop in the carrots because these take time to soften up. And then the peas and the rice. Okay. And now we throw in the sauce. Hurry and give that a mix. Mmm, it smells so good. 
And then I'm gonna jack up the heat to a medium high heat because this is where you wanna dry out the rice slightly and just condense the flavors. Okay, drop in the raisins. You don't want to cook this too long because you don't want the sugars in the ketchup to burn. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat off. You just want to heat the raisins through. And that's all. Next thing to do is to fry up two eggs because this recipe will make two servings. But I'm just gonna make one serving for now. All right, so there is sort of a way to commonly prepare this dish, which is to put it into a rice bowl as a mold, yeah, it really smells good. Get a plate, get the bowl, slap it on to the top of the plate, and then give it a little shake, and there you go. So before this collapses, whoops, so I'm just gonna put an egg, where am I gonna put this? on top like that, just drape it down like that. Two pieces of fried chicken from a little girl and a freaky hot dog like that. Now usually you can decorate this with some sliced cucumbers, tomatoes, a little bit of lettuce, but you know for my daughter, it's just gonna be throwing food away. Uh, so the peas and the carrots, she can deal with. So I'm gonna give this a taste. Mmm, look at that. Mmm, mmm. Now I know why Thai children love this so much. And hot dog. Let's try some of the chicken. Mmm. Juicy chicken, perfectly cooked. Good stuff. Does it make me a bad parent if I ate all of this by myself? Just kidding. As always, if you want deliveries, I take bitcoins and camels as payment. See you all again next time.